This is totally changing how we treat tinnitus. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 291, and today I'm talking to you guys about something that will completely change the way that everybody treats tinnitus in the future. But before I get into today's video, guys, do me a huge favor, click the like button, really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It's greatly appreciated. Now, I don't know if you guys saw my video a few weeks back talking about the Apple Health study that they did in collaboration with the University of Michigan. But basically what they were doing is that they were looking at heart rate variability and how it relates to tinnitus. It turns out that heart rate variability was tied to tinnitus interference, so how much it impacted your ability to hear, tinnitus loudness, how loud is your perceptual tinnitus, your tinnitus episode length, how long did each episode of tinnitus last, and tinnitus frequency, which is how often you experience tinnitus. Basically what they identified is that if you have less time variability in between your heartbeats, it means you're at higher stress levels, which has a negative impact on all of these variables. However, the more variability you have in this time gap in between your heartbeats, which is your heart rate variability, show that you had less issues with these tinnitus variables. So effectively, this study tied heart rate variability to tinnitus. Now it's still unclear as to whether or not the tinnitus impacts your heart rate variability or vice versa, where the heart rate variability impacts your tinnitus. But that is something that we are going to find out at Modern Tinnitus, because we've been doing biometric monitoring for nearly two years at this point. And we're tracking more biomarkers than just heart rate variability, and we're starting to see how tinnitus actually impacts these biomarkers and how these biomarkers impact tinnitus. When myself and Modern Tinnitus co-founder Dr. Craig Casper started looking into using biometrics during our patients' tinnitus treatments, we were blown away with what we were seeing. And to think that there's tinnitus clinicians out there right now treating your tinnitus without monitoring your biomarkers is really surprising. And it's something that's going to change. This is why Dr. Casper and I decided to take our modern tinnitus base camp where we monitor all these biometrics for our tinnitus patients and we allowed other tinnitus clinicians to start using it. We call these our modern tinnitus specialty centers and we have a number of these specialty centers across the United States. But this next part is even more exciting because on October 23rd we are launching our our new and improved Modern Basecamp version 2.0. Not only are we improving the features inside of Basecamp, but we're also adding a variety of additional biometric tracking devices. Basically, any consumer electronic that's out on the market right now that does any level of biometric monitoring, we're gonna be able to tap into that data and pull it into the Basecamp so your tinnitus clinician can use it to give you better treatment recommendations. But just like the rest of the medical world that's starting to get into all of this biometric monitoring, it's gonna take us a little bit of time to make sense of all of this data. But we are already using it effectively on patients who have tinnitus in order to make sure that we're counseling them appropriately and so we can maximize their treatment outcomes with whatever tinnitus treatment they use. Now you might be thinking to yourself, just because we have knowledge of your specific biomarkers, how does that actually impact your overall tinnitus? Well, let's take heart rate variability for a minute. We know of different treatment options and strategies that you can use to improve your heart rate variability. And if you can improve your heart rate variability, you may be able to have a significant improvement on your tinnitus. Same thing with your sleep. We know that individuals who get poor quality sleep and get too little sleep have worse tinnitus. So if we can identify what your sleep is and we can give you strategies to improve your sleep, we may also be able to improve your tinnitus symptoms that way. The same exact thing is true for movement and exercise. If we can actually increase the amount of physical activity that you have, we can have a positive impact on your tinnitus symptoms. But unless we have a true understanding of your individual biomarkers, we may not be able to identify certain things that you can do to improve them, meaning that your tinnitus is not gonna improve. There's an old saying that goes like this, what gets measured gets improved. So if we can measure your biomarkers, we can improve them. Now, if you wanna benefit from this revolutionary approach to tinnitus care, all you need to do is go to moderntinnitus.co, not .com, but .co, and click on the Find a Provider tab. This will allow you to locate the closest modern tinnitus specialty center that is using biometric monitoring in addition to their tinnitus treatments to make sure that you maximize your treatment outcomes. Just a short two years ago, bimodal neuromodulation using the Lanier tinnitus treatment device took the world by storm with how beneficial it was in treating individuals' tinnitus. And if biometric monitoring does what we believe it's going to do based on what we've seen so far, not only is it going to enhance your Lanier tinnitus treatment, but it's going to enhance every tinnitus treatment. But I wanna hear from you guys. Are you as excited as I am when it comes to the future of tinnitus care using biometric monitoring? Let me know down in the comment section.